Imagine waking up one day to find your most prized possession, a $10 million Stradivarius violin, stolen just before a career-defining competition. This is where our journey begins. Picture this. The protagonist of our tale is Ray McMillan, a black classical violin soloist. He's not just any musician, he's a maestro, a virtuoso, a man whose fingers can make a violin sing like a nightingale at dawn. The violin isn't just a tool for him, it's an extension of his soul. And it's not just any violin, it's a Stradivarius, a masterpiece of craftsmanship, as rare and precious as a moonstone. But one day, on the eve of a competition that could catapult his career to new heights, this priceless violin vanishes. A theft, a crime that sends shockwaves through Ray's world. The competition isn't just any competition, it's the stage where talent and ambition collide, where dreams are made or broken. The stakes are sky high, and without his violin, Ray's dreams could shatter like glass. In this tale of loss and pursuit, we are not just talking about a simple case of theft. No, this is a conspiracy, a web of intrigue and deception, a puzzle that Ray must solve to reclaim his stolen treasure. Who stole the violin? Why, and can Ray recover it in time for the competition? And yet as we peel back the layers of this mystery, we realize that there's more at stake here than just a stolen violin. This is a story about a man, navigating a world of privilege that often feels designed to exclude him. It's about the struggles of a black artist in an industry where his talent is often overshadowed by the color of his skin. It's about legacy, about the weight of family expectations and the pressure to succeed. As we delve deeper into this mystery, we uncover more than just a simple theft, we expose a world of privilege, discrimination and legacy. The Violin Conspiracy is no ordinary novel, it's an exploration of a musician's journey through a labyrinth of privilege and discrimination. This tale, woven by Brendan Slocum, dives deep into the character of Ray McMillan, a black classical violin soloist. Ray's world is turned upside down when his Stradivarius violin, worth $10 million, is stolen just before a pivotal competition, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface of this gripping mystery, the novel unravels a far greater conspiracy. The book takes us on a journey through the halls of classical music, which are often associated with privilege and exclusivity. It's a world where the notes of a symphony can sometimes be drowned by the whispers of prejudice. Slocum's novel does not shy away from shedding light on the racial discrimination that Ray faces in the music industry. It's an industry where the color of one's skin can at times echo louder than the music one creates. But what makes Slocum's narrative so compelling is his portrayal of Ray's determination. Despite the hurdles placed in his path, Ray continues to play the music he loves, refusing to let the industry's biases silence his melody. His journey is not just about overcoming external barriers, but also about confronting internal ones. It's about finding his voice in an industry that often overlooks those who don't fit the traditional mold. Alongside the exploration of privilege and discrimination, Slocum delves into the dynamics of family legacy. Ray's relationship with his family, and the expectations that come with it, add another layer of complexity to his character. His struggle to reconcile his love for music with the pressure of carrying on a family legacy is a theme that resonates throughout the novel. But the story isn't just about an industry. It's about a man navigating his way through these challenges and the personal dynamics that shape his journey. In the midst of the chaos Ray's family dynamics come to the forefront, adding another layer to the conspiracy. As we dive deeper into the narrative we find ourselves entangled in the intricate web of Ray's family relationships. They are complex, deeply rooted, and hold a significant influence over Ray's life. It's a rich tapestry of love, ambition, struggle, and legacy, woven into the very fabric of the story. Ray's family is far from the idyllic picture often painted of familial bonds. Instead it's a mosaic of colorful personalities, each with their own aspirations and conflicts. These characters are not just peripheral figures in Ray's life, they are central to his journey, his struggles, and his triumphs. Each relationship paints a vivid picture of the world Ray inhabits, shedding light on his motivations, his dreams, and his fears. In the grand scheme of things, these relationships play a crucial role. They shape Ray's path, molding him into the man he becomes, the violinist he strives to be. They are the invisible hands guiding his journey, the silent voices whispering in his ear. They contribute to his career, influence his decisions, and ultimately, become integral parts of the overarching narrative. The family dynamics are not just a subplot, they are a mirror reflecting the broader themes of the novel. They echo the struggles of privilege, discrimination and legacy that Ray faces in his professional life. 
They are a microcosm of the world outside, a testament to the universal human experience. As Ray grapples with the theft of his Stradivarius, the impending competition, and the weight of his family's expectations, we see a man standing at the crossroads. His family, his career, his identity, they are all intertwined, each thread pulling him in a different direction. But amidst the turmoil, Ray's resilience shines through. He navigates the labyrinth of his life with courage and determination. His love for music, his guiding light, it's a testament to his character, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. As we peel back the layers we find that the violin, the competition, the family, are all part of a larger narrative. Success isn't always as it seems. For Ray the path to success is fraught with obstacles. A journey laid out with trials and tribulations that test his spirit and resilience. A journey that is not just about a stolen Stradivarius violin worth $10 million, but a journey that goes beyond the tangible, into the realms of privilege, discrimination, and family legacy. Ray McMillan, a black classical violin soloist, carves his path in an industry that is steeped in tradition and privilege. He navigates through a landscape that often questions his place and worth. But his talent and passion for music are unwavering, making him an unstoppable force. Success for Ray is not just about the applause at the end of a performance, or the accolades that come with being a renowned soloist. It's about breaking barriers, challenging norms, and proving that talent and passion can rise above discrimination and bias. It's about standing strong in the face of adversity and not letting the obstacles deter him from his path. Ray's journey is a testament to his resilience. When his cherished Stradivarius is stolen, he doesn't crumble. Instead, he rises, showing us that success is not just about what we gain, but also about how we react when what we value is taken away from us. His journey is a symphony, a melody composed of high notes of triumph and low notes of struggle. Each note, each beat, each rhythm is a step toward success. And with each step Ray emerges stronger, more resilient and more determined to succeed. Ray's story is a reminder that success is not a destination but a journey. A journey fraught with challenges, but also filled with moments of triumph and joy. It's a journey that tests our spirit, our resilience and our determination to rise above adversity. Success, as we see, is not just about reaching the top, it's about the journey, the struggles and the triumphs along the way. The Violin Conspiracy takes us on a roller coaster ride, unraveling a complex web of privilege, discrimination and personal dynamics. This debut novel by Brendan Slocum stands as a testament to the labyrinthine journey of a black classical violin soloist Ray McMillan, who navigates through a world that constantly challenges his worth. The narrative structure of the novel is commendable, taking us through a series of twists and turns that keep us on the edge of our seats. It intricately weaves a tale of a stolen $10 million Stradivarius violin, a crucial competition, and the race against time to unravel the truth. The mystery and suspense are not just plot devices, but tools to explore deeper societal issues and personal dynamics. The novel doesn't shy away from exploring complex issues. It delves into racial discrimination in the music industry, a topic that often goes unnoticed. It examines the nuances of privilege and how it plays out in spaces that are perceived as meritocratic. It also explores family legacy and the pressure it can exert, adding further layers to the narrative. However, the novel isn't without its shortcomings. There are moments where the emotional connection with the characters feels slightly off. Some sections of the novel may seem overly descriptive which can slow down the pace of the story, but these minor hiccups don't take away from the overall impact of the narrative. As we close the book on the violin conspiracy, we are left with a compelling and valuable portrayal of a musician's journey, a journey that resonates long after the last page is turned. It's a story that invites us to reflect, to question, and to empathize. It's a story that, much like the timeless music played on a Stradivarius violin, lingers in our minds, stirring our thoughts and emotions. It's a story that, in its own unique way, plays a symphony that's as haunting as it is beautiful. Mm -hmm.